Your investments are in jeopardy. If you invest the wrong way, you could get wiped out. If you invest the right, right way, you could make a fortune. So here's the issue. In times of chaos, there is always a flight to safety. That's it. In times of chaos, in times of uncertainty, in times of fear and doubt, in times of war, in times of economic slowdown, there is always a flight to safety. Traditionally, the flight to safety has been to gold. Since 2013, the flight to safety has been to gold and possibly also the cryptocurrency Bitcoin because it is considered digital gold. According to basic, basic, basic economic theory, if A happens, then this particular B has to happen. And for the first time in the history of economic theory, it hasn't happened. So is there chaos in the world? Well, excuse me. As of yesterday, Canada became a dictatorship. The Prime Minister of Canada invoked the never before invoked, but yet on the books, Emergency Act. And as the Emergency Act allows, the Prime Minister is a dictator. He can put anybody in jail for any reason with no bail. He can seize their bank accounts. He can remove their passports. He can do anything he wishes as a dictator. Canada, sweet little nice Canada that everybody loves, where everybody is so polite, is a dictatorship. And there could be a war in between Russia and Ukraine. And the and the 1-800 suicide helplines are busier than they ever been. And there's more bankruptcies than ever because of the lockdown that's lasted two years now. And there's more illness than there's ever been. And there's more fear than there's ever been. With all this, with all these bankruptcies and suicides and dictatorships in sweet little Canada and the possibility of war in Europe and... Okay, so when all of that worldwide chaos, not in some little region of the world, worldwide chaos, when all that worldwide chaos happens, there has to be a flight to safety and there hasn't. Let me show you. Here is a graph on your screen of the last three months of gold. And you can see on the right hand side that shows the price per ounce of gold in US dollars. There's been no change whatsoever in three months from before this chaos, the Russia-Ukraine chaos, the Canada chaos, before all, all this chaos started from three months ago to today, there's been no change whatsoever in the price of gold. But even worse, on your screen right now, you can see the price of Bitcoin. And not only has it hasn't gone up, not only hasn't it skyrocketed, it's dropped from $60,000 to $45,000. What's wrong with the model? In times of chaos, there has to be a flight to safety. There is only two safe places in the world, gold and Bitcoin. In times of chaos, there is chaos. There has to be a flight to safety. That's Bitcoin or gold. But it hasn't happened. Never in history has this occurred. Never, ever, ever. There always is a flight to safety every time you're worried. For gosh sakes, let's say you're at home and you hear that um, there's a criminal loose in your neighborhood. What would you do? You'd shut all your windows. You'd lock all your windows. You'd lock all your doors. You flee to safety. You flee to safety. That's what nations do. That's what companies do. That's what investors do. That's what individual homeowners do. That's what everybody does. Why hasn't it happened? And the meta man has an answer. And the answer is that people are COVID weary. They're just weary. They're sitting there saying, today is February. In another few weeks, it'll be March. In March of 2022, it'll be the second anniversary of this lockdown. Two years of lockdown, two years of companies going bankrupt, two years of people losing their jobs, two years of fear, two years of misinformation of governments doing things that people don't believe, uh, uh, people saying there has to be uh, a vaccination and then there has to be two vaccinations then there has to be a booster to a vaccination and the the manufacturers of these drugs they say well we're not going to release them if you don't approve it and the government says well you have to release it to help the people and so the government and big pharma made a deal 
that big pharma can't be sued if you get horrible side effects. If you get horrible, terrible side effects, you can't sue anyone, just tough for you. And people are saying, what, how can this be allowed? Like there's so much controversy, there's so much worry and people are saying, you know what, I give up. They're just, they just can't be bothered anymore. They can't even be bothered to flee to safety. And what it's like is, if you hear on the news, a convict has just um, escaped from prison and he's in your neighborhood. Oh my gosh, you run and lock all your doors and your windows. And then the next night you find out that guy's been apprehended, but another guy's been caught and is loose in your neighborhood. So you run and you lock your windows and your doors. Well, after three or four or five nights of this, you say, you know what? Let him come in if he wants dinner. Like you're just weary. You're just weary of the same bad news. And so people are saying, okay, okay, if I invest wrong, my stocks might go down. If I invest wrong in real estate, real estate might go down. You know what? I couldn't care less. I want this to be over already. And that's what's happening. Everybody is just weary. Everybody was so happy that there was a Super Bowl. Give me some chips. Give me some beer. Leave me alone for a few hours. Let me watch the Super Bowl. That's what's going on. Not because they don't care, but because they've stopped caring because they're weary. They're just weary. And so one day they're going to wake up. There's going to be some event that startles people out of their reverie. And they're going to wake up and gold and Bitcoin will rise. But it's going to take a lot. For example, if the news comes out, that a war has just broken out somewhere in South America. People are saying, you know what? I've heard a war between Russia and Ukraine. Or if genocide happens and a million people in a religious minority somewhere in Africa are all murdered, a million people. North Americans and Europeans might say, you know what? I've heard enough. I, I, and I, I'm not, I don't have a cold heart. I'm not saying a million people getting murdered isn't horrible. What I'm saying is people are just tired. It's gonna take more than genocide. It's gonna take more than a war to wake people up because they're just tired. And I'm tired. I've been in my log cabin for a long time. Actually, I love it. I'm doing well and doing all my teaching by Zoom like all the other friends of mine who are professional speakers. But I'm tired too. I can't even be bothered listening to the news. I can't even be bothered listening to the latest update. And so there's gonna have to be something so gigantic that it like startles people awake. And I can't imagine what it could be. If it isn't genocide, if it isn't war, if it isn't mass suicides from all these calls to the healthline centers, if it isn't governments lying to us or big pharma lying to us, or like one of my cousins won't talk to me, won't talk, my cousin, one of my cousin, first cousin won't talk to me because I'm not vaccinated. Like, is she gonna catch COVID by the phone? It's not that. It's that she thinks I'm such a bad person that I'm risking the lives of all North Americans because I personally am not vaccinated that she's so disgusted she won't even talk to me. Really? A family member won't talk to me? And so there's so much crapola going on that people are just darn weary and falling asleep instead of paying attention to all the crapola. And that's the meta man's understanding of why Bitcoin hasn't skyrocketed because of the flight to safety issue. Wow. And you know that you're supposed to subscribe and like and all that stuff. You are now way smarter than you were just 10 minutes ago. Please click on Meta in order to subscribe to my channel. And please click on this video, which is my most recent video, my previous one. And please click on that video, which Google and YouTube think is the most appropriate if you enjoyed this video.